Linnaeus is a brave little engine who enjoys working in the mountains on the island of Sodor. Even though he is little, Renaeus loves feeling like a really useful engine. One day, the fat controller came to see Renaeus. I have a very important job for you, he boomed. An important job, cried Renaeus. Oh, thank you, sir. You are to take some children up into the mountains. You must make sure they have a wonderful time and are back in time for their tea. Yes, sir, said Renaeus, but he was worried. He wasn't sure he was good enough to make the trip special. When Renaeus arrived at the station, the children and their teacher were waiting on the platform. How can I make the children's day really special? He said to Rusty. You know the mountains better than any engine, said Rusty. But Renaeus wasn't sure his best would be exciting enough. He felt like a very little engine indeed. The fat controller had told Renaeus's driver to point out all the beautiful sights along the way. This is Sodor Castle, called his driver. It's very special and important. Renaeus saw the castle every day. He didn't think it was special or important. I must think of something exciting to do, he puffed to himself. This is Valley View, said his driver. And here's the viaduct. Renaeus was still unhappy. The trip didn't seem wonderful to him at all. Must be special, must be special, he puffed. Meanwhile, Rusty was working on the rocky ridge line. Heavy rains had washed the ground from under the tracks. These lines are too bumpy and uneven, said the foreman. The tracks must be closed for repairs. Renaeus was still trying to think of something that would make the children's trip special. He didn't know that the linesman had forgotten to switch the points. Suddenly, Renaeus was on the wrong track. Oh no, this line is closed for repairs. Bust my buffers, chuffed Renaeus. Be careful, cried Rusty. The tracks are very bumpy. Renaeus whooshed down the mountain like a roller coaster. The children cheered. Renaeus puffed up the rocky ridge with all his might. His carriage clattered and bumped and bounced along behind. And the children oohed and ahed. Renaeus chuffed and puffed as hard as he could. He steamed across the trestle bridge. He was going so fast the teacher nearly lost her hat. Renaeus splashed under a waterfall. The children laughed happily. And the teacher covered her eyes. At last they could see the station. Renaeus was very tired and worried. What would the fat controller say? Phew, said the teacher, just in time for tea. It was the best school trip ever, cried the children. The fat controller wasn't cross with Renaeus. He was happy too. You gave the children a wonderful trip. You really are a very useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir, puffed Renaeus proudly. Renaeus didn't feel like a little engine anymore. <laughs> <laughs>